Hey guys. Night Prowler here. Sorry. Um, figured I'd do this real quick thing because I haven't really seen a, too many videos. This is a 2002 Jeep Wrangler X. It's a TJ. So 2002 TJ. Um, six inline six cylinder, so 4.0, and manual transmission, as you cannot see right, right there. So. Sorry, bad light, I know. Take my word for it, it's manual transmission. Anyways, um, figured I'd try and make this as easy for you. I'm gonna do a transmission fluid, or manual transmission, or gear oil fluid change. Uh, I haven't ever done one since I've owned the vehicle, so I figured I should do one. And uh, I'm gonna do an oil change as well. And I'm gonna just tell you guys what I'm gonna use because I haven't really seen a lot of people talking about for a TJ, for this uh, particular transmission. This is what the guy told me it will take. He said it will take 7590, but since I do go off road and I do, and it's an older transmission, I said I'd just go 75 140, full synthetic. You know, my, my shifting's pretty decent, but not bad. I'm gonna switch from the Royal Purple to Mobile One high mileage. It's a little bit thicker of an oil than the Royal Purple I used to use. And that, the Royal Purple, I love the stuff, but it was, $37 for five quarts, which is not bad. It's a good price, but this was 22 on sale. So it's still a full synthetic. It's for high mileage. I figure what the heck, I'm gonna add this uh, pure synthetic anyways to it. This is from Lucas. And um, here's the, so I'm gonna use a suction gun instead of uh, like the pumps. This is full metal. And I think it'll work better than uh, those guns that you, or those little, pumps that you put on there and then squirt them in there they're kind of like eh and I figured that I'm using the Streamlight the AA one Siege for a light so you just take the the dome cover off of there and you this thing makes a super handy vehicle working on your car light I have it in my Jeep for such an occasion um just to let you guys know because like I said I couldn't find it this is a 17 millimeter uh, hex looking socket. There's another one right there, as you can see it kind of maybe, or yeah, I guess it would be. So it's 17 millimeter, they're both 17 millimeter. I couldn't find that anywhere. It was so ridiculous to try and find out what the size was. Uh, you need a half inch. Supposedly this thing takes about three quarts of oil. And I'll show you real quick. So I'll show you real quick the, there you go. So cleaned, I've already cleaned out the magnet. Where is the, what do I do with it? I just had it here. Well, I had the socket here a second ago. So I could show you guys exactly what it looks. Oh, it's wrapped up in the, in the rag. There it is. So, one of these deals. 17 millimeter. I got it at AutoZone, if it'll focus on there. Anyways, H17. So, it's a crappy tool, but it'll do. I'll just keep it in my little ammo toolbox can for this kind of job but that's it like I said I couldn't find the size that this was supposed to be anywhere and I even called somewhere and they gave me some weird information and I figured I'd show you how handy that little light is and what I'm gonna use like I said I was gonna go Royal Purple and then I was gonna go Synchro Max um, the Royal Purple Synchro Max but then some guys told me to stay away from it and I was like that's 20 uh, the Royal Purple was 20 bucks a quart and I need three quarts. So that would have been $60 for three quarts of oil. When I got this, it was 12. It was a full synthetic, a little bit uh, higher uh, than, uh, what am I trying to say? Thick it's thicker. <laughs> I'm not going to try and mangle that. And, um, cause, and it also is good for extreme... Uh, temperature so in california no it can get pretty hot depending if you're going to the desert or something 
and uh, like I said I haven't put it in I will do another video and I'll shift through the gearing and maybe see if it's any noticeable but this is good because you really don't have to do this for like every two years maybe and this vehicle is going to be going to Kansas and they have pretty gnarly winters there so this is good down to I'm gonna actually have to winterize my vehicle it's gonna be a whole new experience <laughs> being in California you don't really have to do that too bad but that's it so I'll talk to you guys later I just thought I'd give some general information on what I'm using this isn't I don't know this is what the guy told me to use but you know he seemed like an older gentleman he seemed like he knew what he was talking about and I did call a couple uh, off-road shops and they said yeah it's this stuff so and like I said Chrysler wanted or Jeep wanted to charge me $25 a quart for some special crap that I'd only have to go to Chrysler for and I was like I ain't getting some special stuff that I'm only going to go to you for. That's ridiculous. You know, and he didn't even want to give me an option as far as something else that wasn't from them. So they pulled their typical dealer crap. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.